Hi, if you have a Calathea mosaica and you see that the edges of the leaves are brown and crispy, this video is for you. There are many possible factors that may be causing the leaves of your plant to brown and be crispy and dry. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the four most common ones. The first one is lack of humidity. Now, as you know, this is a Calathea and Calatheas are tropical plants. This one specifically comes from Brazil. So they love high humidity levels. In my experience, my Calatheas will thrive and be happy only if I have them at a level of 50 to 60% humidity. So if you see that the edges of the leaves are browning and drying, this may be a good sign that your Calathea needs a little bit more humidity. Some things that you can do to increase the humidity for your plant is to place her on a humidity tray or close to a humidifier. I also have all of my Calatheas together because they help each other with humidity levels. Now, one very important tip related to humidity that I can give you is not to place your Calathea close to a heating vent or the AC because the air tends to be really dry there. The second possible reason for your leaves to be browning and crispy at the edges is underwatering. This plant likes the soil to be moist at all times. Now note that I'm saying moist but not super wet because we don't want to overwater our plant. But yes, we want to make sure that the soil is moist at all times. So what I recommend is that you have a stable watering schedule. So the way that I do this is I always have a reminder in my cell phone so I have a reminder twice a week just to check the soil of my Calathea mosaica and I generally water every week or so of course in the winter I water less often because the plant goes a little bit more dormant and it's not growing so actively but the best advice that I can give you is to always check the soil check it before you water and the way that I check is that I stick my finger inside the soil and once I feel that it is drying out then I water so yes always remember to keep the soil moist at all times the third possible reason for this issue is the water quality now although this is a Calathea mosaica so it's gonna be easier to care for than other Calatheas and I can tell you this one is not as dramatic as other Calatheas it still prefers good quality water and as a Calathea it will tend to be more sensitive to tap water this is because depending on your location tap water may have some chemicals or some minerals that are very harsh on your plant so it is always better to use other types of water like distilled water or rain water but of course if you don't have access to this and you prefer to use tap water you can still always filter the water before you use it for your Calathea this is what I do because the water here is really harsh or you can place the water in a bucket and leave it there for 24 to 48 hours in this period some of the chemicals will evaporate so the water will not be so harsh on your plant and the last reason is light now you may know that this Calathea will be happier in brighter light conditions than other Calatheas for example the Calathea medallion or the Calathea rufibarba they tend to prefer lower light conditions but this one will be happy with bright conditions but of course too much direct light may be very damaging to this plant so always avoid direct light and try to provide bright but indirect sunlight of course if you have any other experience or you have encountered other factor make sure to comment below i can assure you that the whole community will appreciate it and if you're on this video and you would like to see more possible reasons make sure to go down to the comments and see what other people are saying and as always i will see you in the next one okay ciao <laughs>